Get back into your vehicle. We're not just training on the range anymore. Drop the gun, drop the gun! We're actually putting officers in a decision-making situation. Well, forget the days of relying on a shooting range. Police training is going high tech. Officers getting a real experience. So if one day, heaven forbid, a gunman should show up at a school or at your workplace, the police can react quickly to save lives and avoid mistakes in the process. Local 4 defender Karen Drew spent a day with Troy police officers to see how this training is making a difference. From the exterior, it looks just like a warehouse. We have these two. But what's going on inside? Close quarters technical is so much more. It's a 300 degree simulator that we put students through from law enforcement to private sector to military for threat recognition, decision making capabilities, and high stress situations. Today, the local four defenders are with the Troy Police Department. Officer Clark. Ma'am, step back in your car. And Officer Zagaki. Put the bottle down, please. Put the it's training down. day, something officers at Troy PD do four times a year for an eight hour down, shift. And this gives us uh, an opportunity to put, put real life down. people interacting with us in the, in the reality sense. In this scenario, a woman gets out of her car and starts to grab for something in her purse. Ma'am, do not touch that. Step away from the back of the car. She has a gun. Get on the ground, get on the ground, taser, taser, taser. Each scenario has different outcomes that we control depending on how the students are interacting with the subjects on the screen. And even though she did have a weapon, she wasn't pointing the weapon at me. Um, I tried to deliver the taser as soon as she reached for the weapon to avoid that confrontation. Next scenario, police responding to a loud and disorderly party. Please calm down, sir. Please calm down here. Put the bottle down, please. Put and then the there is the office shooting. Police, come out! Gunmen on the loose. You look right, I got left. For many officers, they've never experienced situations like these. Left side, left side. So this gives a hands-on experience they can learn from. Drop the gun, drop, drop the gun! Down. Much more real life than practicing at a shooting range. We had high stressful situation, we had injured subjects, we had a suspect who's a threat, and then we have to be accurate with our shot to preserve the life of the employee who's being held at gunpoint. I decided to give the simulator a try. My scenario, a shooter in a school. Moving. We go hallway to hallway to find the gunman, stop him, and of Watch course, right side, don't Karen. shoot any innocent victims. Heart races, your eyes dart from subject to subject while you try to find the bad guy. In the end, we get him. How do you feel? I'm a wreck. <laughs> there was a lot going in, and I was so nervous that one of them was going to be a kid. And I did shoot at the right person, but I was nervous afterwards because I thought, what if that, I don't know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of decision making. There's a lot making. of decision making. Training goes from simulator to a shoot house with live fire. The defenders suited up as well and followed the officers in. We'll have no shoot and shoot targets, and they'll have to decide what's a threat, what's not a threat. Again, it's the tension and the unknown, which gives them a more real life practice session. It keeps you alert. It keeps you aware of what your surroundings are. Um, if you are able to control that stress, then you're able to better function as an officer. Not all local police departments do this kind of training. It depends on the number of officers on the force and, of course, the budget. Troy Police just finished getting all 102 officers through this training. I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders. Pretty cool. Karen said it was pretty intense. Yeah, you, even though you know it, none of it's real, it's right. just a drill, it gets your blood pumping. And there's been so much tension between police and the public yeah, that yeah. something like this, you can see how they can hone their skills and, you know, get used to it before the real yeah, world. I sure so, hope so, yeah. Yeah, that's good.